You're back? Sweet. Let's talk about ignition. Cue the music and the intro. To give myself a fighting chance, I have a NG, brand new NGK B6 HS spark plug. I'll shove it down deep in there. Just kind of make sure that everything's connected. Alright. I have these special French zip ties. Um, That'll uh, hold the, the spark plug grounded to the engine so we can try to see a spark. Um, these are specifically made for French mopeds. So. Oh, this thing's way too small. I think I'm going to have to use my American zip tie. Geniuses on the forums recommend running a ground wire from the cylinder to where the coil grounds just to make sure that we have a nice solid ground. If we still don't get a spark, we'll have to open up the stator cover and get in there and clean and adjust the points. Unlike a lot of the other stuff I've been doing on this moped, I'm actually going to make this ground wire somewhat permanent as opposed to temporary in nature because um, it might be on the final product. So. I want it to at least look nice. So uh, here we go. It's important to remember to leave the wire a bit long so it'll have some slack to allow the engine to variate. Don't be an idiot and make it too short or else you will have to redo it. Dumbass. strap, no change, still no spark, which means we're going to need to get in here and clean some points. I've heard that this is a bitch, um, so spraying it with some WD-40, letting it set, and I've got my 3 8 inch breaker bar which supposedly fits right in there and then I'll pop it off and they're reverse thread so go clockwise uh, I saw a little trick on uh, moped army where you wrap a hose clamp around here so you have a brace with a 2x4 here so I'm going to try that out and uh, hopefully all goes well here goes
<laughs> Looks like it's gonna work pretty well. Got this internal condenser here, which I've also heard goes bad fairly regularly. If I'm still having problems after we clean up these points and still not getting the spark, then uh, then that'll be the next thing I change out. But for now, I'm going to trust that it's okay and leave it right there. Those are the points right there. And I'm just turn the engine over. And you should be able to see them open, right there. And you're going to check your tolerances on those. I think it's 0.35 millimeters. I got a feeler gauge. And then close. And they look like they're making pretty good connection, but they're corroded on the inside. So I'm going to clean them out um, with some 320 grit sandpaper and some carb cleaner. Then I'll, uh, I'll blow everything out and make sure there's no grit left in there. And uh, set, the, uh, set the tolerance at 0.35 right there. I'll do that with that little screw right there. And... Uh, it should be good. A lot of people say it's a no-no to use sandpaper to do this, but I've cleaned points on cars before with sandpaper and it seems to work fine, so um, 
I don't see why a moped would be any different. You just got to make sure that if it leaves any crap in there, you blow it out with the carb cleaner and an air gun. But if as long as there's no grit left, you're, you're good to go. Spray just a little bit of carb cleaner on each side. And we're going to get them to open. Look at that, by the way. That's what's coming out from in between those points. Can you see that? <laughs> oh yes, those are certainly looking better. Point three five and make sure that there's no oil or anything nasty on that. Clean it off really, really well. Suck to clean the points and then dirty them up with a nasty feeler gauge. what you're looking for just a touch of drag on it these ones actually feel uh, dare I say perfect they feel absolutely perfect okay let's put her back together and see if we can get a spark The inside cover, I don't know if you can see it, has a couple of, of, uh, of protrusions, dimples on the inside. And there are uh, two holes right here as well. You want to make sure you line them up so that they go right in there. And uh, yeah, now it's time to put this thing back together. Here we go. Let's see a spark. Oh, can you guys see that? So I was watching the footage back last night and I, uh, I realized that in fact, no. You couldn't see the spark. So I'm back again today to get you that money shot of the spark. Let's look.
The other thing I realized last night as I was washing back is I kept calling the cleaner I was using carb cleaner, which it wasn't. I was using brake parts cleaner, which is a much better option to use. The carb cleaner uh, leaves a residue behind, a lubricant, which you certainly don't want on your points. It'll, uh, it'll corrupt those, uh, those connections. Even better would be to use uh, electric connection cleaner, which I had, I had just forgotten about. Uh, but when I redo the other Moby's points, I'll be, I'll be using this. Um, if you're keeping track at home, that means that we have uh, cleaned the gas tank, we've rebuilt the carb, we've decarbonized the exhaust, and we've sorted the ignition system, which means uh, the next episode will be um, putting it all back together. I'm going to scrub these manky things a little bit to get them looking pretty. And then uh, we're going to make some vroom vroom noises. That's next episode. Thanks for watching.